Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Today's video is putting clock movements into onto the clock. I'm going to do these two clocks. Well, I'm going to fast forward through parts of it, but I'm going to explain what I'm doing in parts before I fast forward now. Um, and then I'm going to try to add to the back of this video, or to the, near the end of this video, how do I make the boxes for these. Now, first off, you can see, wait a minute, let me take my finger. You can see that the hole isn't big enough. Okay, see? So what I always do is, now this is the front, and this is the back. So I always take a big pair of scissors. These are, oh, these things are sold. They got titanium blades. I put the bl scissor blade in there and I just basically turn it around to shave the inside of the hole. Now you can see it's shaving parts of it off and let's see if it fits now. Nope, got to do it some more. You want to be careful doing this because you know the edge of this is sh the edge of the blade uh, scissor blade is sharp so you want to be careful holding it while you're turning it and there we go I shaved some more off let's see and you might want to get out the little if you see any stray bits that are still stuck just pick them out with your finger and there we go okay so the next, th well first, before you put the clock back down, this clock kit, which let me show you the box, and I will put the link down below to where I get them at. Of course, I can't see, I can't see the lid. Um, it's got, wait a minute, let me see if I can peel this address label off. Oh, this is so embarrassing. You know what? <laughs> My address label is still across the front of the box. So I will just, I'll put a link down below. The clock kit comes with instructions, but I'm also showing you a couple little tips and tricks. First thing you want to do is it comes with all these parts you're going to need. You put the rubber washer down. Then you put the clock on top of it. Now let me get my two things. You got a little gold washer that you put on on top of it then you got a little gold nut that you're going to screw onto it there we go okay now you only want to finger tighten it you don't want to get it too tight but you don't want it to be loose so basically I am finger tightening it but at this point you also got to make sure that your clock is, oh, excuse that, let me, let me turn off my notifications, sorry about that, okay. You want to make sure that this is where you want the top of your clock to be. And I'm looking at it, it looks, it looks fine the way it is, but see, when, the, when a person gets the clock, if they're not happy, they can, let me show you from the back, they can turn it whichever way. And then all they have to do is go back in here and tighten this some more. Okay. Now it is tight enough. These are the hands I decided to use on this clock. So let me cut open the bag that has the hands because it's very hard for me to figure out where to tear it at. So, okay. It's also very hard for me to figure out where to cut it open at. And I probably should have had it cut open before I started this. But you never know. Okay. This set has got two hands and a little nut that goes in the hole once you got the hands on here. These are already uh, stuck together, but you want to separate them. Okay, 
this is the hour hand now you gotta make what you want to do is, is you want to make sure you know where the top of your clock is at okay I'm putting my finger there and you want to set the two hands on there exactly oh first you want to take off this one's got one of these uh, what do you call it like a little plastic uh, plastic covering to it and you want to find a part where you can start peeling it off and you want to peel it off before you put it on so you don't have a problem when you have the next one. Oh, I wanted to show you before I put them on. You can see, uh, no you can't, you can see the two different size holes. And we all know that our hand is the shorter one. And it's got the bigger hole and it goes on first. Now here's the part I always have problems with. You want to get it flat and snap it into place it won't go down too far don't worry about that but then don't give it too much pressure and then I always kind of look from the side to make sure let me see to make sure that it is straight okay and then you're gonna put your minute hand on but you're gonna some of these clock manufacturers that give you the hands don't necessarily have this plastic on them but this company does but the link will be do down in the description okay here we go now I basically see I'm trying to push it down with my one finger but the end of this little centerpiece um, the spindle has to come past it so let me see there we go I think yeah okay it's on tight enough let me show this to you from the side make sure that you can see everything you can see there's a little bit of separation between the hands this one doesn't have a second hand so this one you want to put the nut or the the screw or well it's not really a screw it just pushes in to cover that hole okay sometimes I go back over it just to make sure the two hand the two different hands are pushed down all the way and then I check it again to make sure nothing okay I don't know if you can how you can see that or not um, uh, this is hard for me to see what you can see but you can see there's a space in between the hands oops it's getting blurry anyway that is how I put the put the clock hands on so I'm going to do this one also, same way. Um, does this one have a second hand? Uh, yes, it does. What this one has is a second hand that is attached to this little nut piece right here. Um, because this will go around like a second hand, but there's no second hand attached to it. And this one has a second hand. So... I will be right back to show you how to make the box.
go and you do not hear you do not hear the clock and a little bit a little bit but that is how you make a clock box okay just remember make all these the same layer find your center and allow for the the height of the hanger in here okay and then put and then put your four blocks around it put your clock in there make two more blocks and kind of guesstimate I mean you don't know how many rows it's going to be but you can make it a little bit thinner like I did with six six layers and then I added the seventh one because once you close it and I usually tape down these edges so it doesn't pop open in the box it'll be fine so if you enjoyed the video please tell me if you have any questions put them down in the comments